We measure. Find treasure on Spectres Do We Die. We measure. Find treasure on Spectres Till We Die. We measure. Find treasure on Spectres Till We Die. We measure. Find treasure on Spectres Till We Die. We measure. Find treasure on Spectres Till We Die. We measure, find treasure, on Spectres till we die. We measure, find treasure, on Spectres till we die. We measure, find treasure, on Spectres till we die. All right, hello. My name is Chicka Chow, but I'm known on the internet as Chicka Chow, and today. We're back with the uh, more Xeno, Xeno burrito. We're checking out the DLC. We have literally the best, the best character in all of Xenoblade Nene with us. And we also have um, Kino. Yeah, we have Kino, but he's less best. I mean, he's got Shala's move pool, so he's good. But he, you know, he's no Nene. We love to hit the Nene around here. Um, we're going to wrap up some quests to start off with. So if you remember, we had a quest for this one to kill a certain unique monster that I then thoroughly got my ass beat by. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, I decided to, you know, just, just do a little bit of this. Um, just a little bit of gearing everyone up just so it, it would be a bit a bit easier for all of us speaking of here's what our arts are looking like as well we got fully leveled backslash now um i also need to upgrade monado shield just a bit uh, melia's got to do her mind blast Uh, we're going to actually save yours AP for a sec, and you need to be doing Drive Boost, so you can cycle through your healing better. Um, while I'm here, I should buy some art. I killed, also, you know the spider in the cave that I died to? Unique one? Yeah, I kicked his ass too. Um, oh. Turns out it's a lot easier with gems, but uh, Melia, we want your Mind Blast, absolutely. As well as Burst End? Sure, why not? Um, now let's get something for Nene to put some shit into. Sword drive, absolutely. <laughs> Nimbrick's just really enjoying her drink over there. So now Nene can level up something up. Sword drive. Get that blood boy up and up and up. Ibrick's finally now making the watch me whip, watch me nay nay joke. Because she fell asleep pretty much the whole last time. So she didn't even know why we had all these fucking ponds running around, let alone their special moves, which are cool as hell. I very thoroughly enjoy their special moves. And having a healing chain attack is actually kind of cool, because it means we don't actually have to run a healer, we can just play good. Um, but... The uh, the damage and the toppling is also cool, as well as the fact that I think they all do damage. I haven't tried the healing one yet, but I know the topple one does damage and the um the medial one also. God, I just Nene's character is probably the best character we've had in Xenoblade, just because she's so full of life and energy and stuff. And Ricky, Ricky was too, but Ricky didn't get the chance to shine, right? But I feel like, you know, Nene and Kino are, like, just getting a fair chance to shine throughout. Yes. What now? Yeah, we punished the token for stealing your steak. Oh, he was the st the turkin, not the, um... Sorry, the caterpillar that we had to kill was for the dude's brother that died. Covery up four, that's pretty good. And now we get Hikasa on our team of prospectors. 
So we only have three more pond specters to get. Not bad if I do say so myself. Also, I should check the Collectopedia while I'm here. How are we doing? We're still missing some stuff. Uh, only three from here and... We can get that done at least. Trendy gloves. Ooh. Oh. They're just uh, new gloves. I mean, they're kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Kind of dig that for Shulk. Feels weird getting like cosmetic rewards though. I don't know. Oh, so you found the bangle. Yes, that's it. That's exactly it. It's all misshapen, uh, misshapen though. The bangle was decorated so gaudily to distract enemies. My brother must have thrown at something as he fought. Thank you for retrieving it for me. I'll be the one to wear it proudly from now on. I can only hope he'll remind me to be a protector of the people, just like my brother before me. Here's a token of my appreciation. Please take it, and thanks again. Sapling hair tie and sapling vest. What is that? I guess it's for you, right? Yeah, ether up instead of HP up, sure. Less defenses, though. Sapling vest is also ether up. I'm going to actually keep that and going to change my other HP up that I had on you to this one. Because I want you to be able to take some hits. Also, I got all three types of their staffs. So I got the husk shooter, the seed blammer, and the fruit sprouter, which I think the fruit sprouter looks sick. It's kind of cool that these are all guns, but they're also all like natural things. I like that a lot. Um, Melia only had the World Ender as a cosmetic, so I decided to keep it, because why not? And you have the Snug Hug Blocker, which has this cute knob on the back. You have the Madcap Stopper, which has this angry knob on the back. And the Friend Shelterer, which is like this little baby knob on the back. You also have uh, Intrepid Star 1 and 2. 2 looks kind of cool. I like 2's metallic look. Why not? You, on the other hand, only have modern style one for now. Alright, otherwise, we can keep continuing with the story. Actually, before I do, I want to do... I want to do... I want to what? I want to check if we have uh, this unlocked yet. No, we can't view that quiet moment yet. I wonder if we're going to get a new party member or if something big's going to happen and we have to, like... I don't know, we'll just have to see, I guess. Can't view that one either. Alright. Well, while I'm here, I may as well get some crystals. Ether defense down. Could be good if we're focusing damage with Melia. Ether def up 2 is okay. Depth up 3 is much better. We also got recovery up 4, didn't we? That'll probably be good for, um... We may as well put it over you. Though we do want it on Nene, probably. You know what? We'll get rid of one HP up for recovery up. t -Lin's Laboratory. I want to go in, but I also want to check behind it first for this. I did run around and got every single Pororo's favorite that I could find. The last four should be these four, and I assume we can't get to, um, what's that called, Grandel Ramparts? We can't get to Grandel yet, I assume. Um, but I tried to do literally everything else possible. Um, besides explore new places, like I didn't explore the rest of the quarry, I didn't explore the uh, Necropolis. Even though I probably could have, uh, I didn't want to do it, not on stream. How many times have I told you, you do not go there alone? But I really needed that material. Doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? No fucking way. If something happened to you, we would lose everything. <sighs> Tyrea? 
Melia? Huh? Wait a second. You know Melia, big sis? Tyrea's your big sis. Right. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Ugh. Sorry. Sorry for the trouble. Truly. Although I am glad you were there. Yeah, you really helped me out, Shulk, Miss Melia. And you too, Kino, Nene. Tyrea. I didn't expect to see you here, helping Teelan with his research. Yes, well... Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it. I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters then? Sisters? No. It's rather more complicated. But sisters, we are not. Hmm. Well, still, that means you know her from way back. What was she like? Hmm? I've only known her here, in this place, so I gotta wonder how she was before. Well, she tried to kill Melia. She, she was... She was strong. Both in body, and in her conviction for doing what she thought was right. Pretty much the same as how she is now, then. When it comes to our research, she's even more committed than I am. So she has not forgotten her mother. Where did you and Tyrea meet? It was when... when she saved me from the Fog King. On a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. Before the Fog King showed up? Yeah, and then... After we all escaped, I was kind of on my own, so Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Teelan, was your father not still around? My father... My father was killed by the Fog King. Is that so? I'm sorry. Teelan, just like Kino. Brave little pun. I think I'll get some air too. Go ahead. I've still got things to ask Teelan, so I'll stay with him. Good, thank you. It shan't be long. Miss Melly, Kino go too. Kino, please read room. Tyrea. Of all the people to meet out here, how did you... Pure chance. After everything, I... I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia. And survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it. Or so I thought. Until fate had me save Teelan. And death ceased to be an option. Your mother. She did not grant you a dying place. She gave you our future. By crossing your path with Teelan's. My helping with Teelan's research. Is a simple matter of give and take. 
If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Teelan, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High Entia, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. You are the Imperial successor. The Crown Princess, war or no war. No. Empress now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Empress Melia, so you are ready to lead us after all. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. Did you learn anything from Teelan? Hmm. A little. He said that for all the details, we ought to talk to Radzum in Grandel. Meeting should be no problem. Teelan say he sent word to guard at Grandel ramparts to let friends through. Before we visit this Radzum, I have something I wish to discuss with you all. What is matter now? The High Entia who live here now have lost all hope for the future. I have a duty. As the Imperial successor, I must safeguard their future. This will sound selfish, I know, but will you stand with me? Of course I will, Malia. Kino, too. And also Nene. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Right. Off to Grandel we go. Alright. I actually really like that. Yes? Is she just... Wait, I just noticed, is she just telling him off the whole oh, time? Hey yeah. Oh, pardon me. Um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed that. I did not expect Tyrea to be looking after Teelan. And I really like how not only this confirms that the quest lines we did were canon, like the uh, surprise quest with Tyrea, but with Teelan as well, and finding out what happened to his father and shit. I just really enjoyed it. It was good. Hi, Rose. Miss Tyrea seemed like difficult sort of person to deal with. Difficult, huh? Maybe so, but she's still far more mellow than before. Miss Melia and Miss Tyrea know each other from where? Well, it's... It's a little complicated to explain. Complicated? How? Hmm. I'm just not quite sure where to begin. For one, Tyrea and I had never met until one year ago. Houses too far apart, or...? I was not allowed to venture outside. Moreover, I never even knew of her existence. She, on the other hand, seemed to know about me. 
We... Uh, we never met because work had been busy. But how Miss Melia never know of? If sisters, then of course should know. That's true. How can I explain this? Tyrea and I have separate parents. Different fathers and different mothers, both. Meme! In same boat as Nene and Kino, then! Just like you and Kino, Tyrea and I are not related by blood. But we had a half-brother with whom we shared a parent each. Half-brother? Hmm. No parents in common, but a brother we are both related to. Therefore, Tyrea and I are not exactly complete strangers. Me, me, me! Brain of Nene starting to melt! I'm sorry. I did say it's complicated. Nene does not understand. If both have same brother, why cannot be one family together? Our parents being different, I and Tyrea have led very different lives. We never even met, let alone behaved as a family. Neither knows how to relate to the other, and so we struggle on. It sound like Miss Melia and Miss Tyrea both feeling more like Kino. How do you mean? Kino also not talk to anyone at first. Very Heidi shy shy. I don't think I'd call myself or Tyrea shy, exactly. If want to become good friends, but not know how to put in action, then it's exactly same. Hmm. But, as can see for self, now Nene and Kino super best of friends. Do tell, how did you two achieve that? Would you teach me the way, please? Answer is clear as day. Nene prescribed lots of play play. Play play? Also, sharing of yummy snacks and sleep together in the same bed. If do that, become family in wink of eye. I'm not sure I can do that with Tyrea. Seems like a lot. Meh! Nene patience is exhaust! Miss Melia want to be sisters with Miss Tyrea or not? Uh, yes. I would really like that, I think. So? Now is best and only chance! No time for hemmings and whorings! Best and only? Hmm? Perhaps you're right. Okay, then now Miss Melia go and say, Hey, Sister Bon, come play! <gasps> right now? I need some time to compose myself. Oh, if Miss Melia must, but I have to promise to ask soon. Yes, I will. One day very soon. I really, really, really love this DLC. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... Oh, it's so good. Just... <laughs> I wish we got a DLC like this. I, I keep calling it a DLC. It's not a DLC. It's an extra story. Um, I really wish we got one of these for every character. Because I feel like every character deserves to have way more depth. Like, we're getting not more depth for just Nene, but for Melia, right? And her f feelings to Tyrea, which that... Sh quest although we got like unique cutscenes for it felt short still oh my god i love this so much yeah we gotta go to grandel which um we're there in an instant Greetings. We have heard from Teelan that a man called Radsum lives within these walls. Ah, friends of Teelan's, are you? We've been expecting you. Go on, in you get. You're letting us straight through. You don't look particularly concerning, is all. These walls are imposing, but they aren't here for controlling foot traffic. They're to keep savage monsters from having themselves a rampage. Most sensible. 
Well, we'll be going then. Vikings! Sorry for time taking. As much as I'd like one of this for riding, like, Shala, I think I'd prefer Shala Dunban. Not as, like, a ship or anything, but because I feel like we could learn more about their characters in that mix. And Ryan Fiora would be a good mix, because I feel like, despite Ryan Fiora and Shulk apparently being, you know, childhood best friends and stuff, it was always felt like Ryan was third wheeling. I would really, really like to see, like... A, um, you know, Fiora and Ryan get to bond like Ryan and Shulk did, or even Ryan and Dunban. Agni's birthplace. I don't know who the fuck Agni is, but they, they birthed here. Oh, we got a quest. Pardon me. I feel like Ryan and Charla would be a very awkward story. You're just a father? A father? A farmer? What's up, buddy? So strange, where could it have gone? Been tending to these wheat fields for some reason the growth simulator had mysteriously disappeared. We're struggling enough with the poor harvest as it is. Alright, so you need us to find it. Oh, you need to make new stuff. Five high leaves and defeat Skeeters at Zen's thoroughfare and collect thick nectar. Okay. That's easy done. Oh, this place is huge, by the way. That's the main town of Grandel, I assume, from the map. But you know me, I have to search fucking everything. Is that a little knop on? Shushu. Looking at a tree, if friends don't need anything, please get tough to Shushu. Go tell anyone that fell from tree. Whoever heard of not one girl that can't cut from trees? Maybe we need Kino to talk? Nene? Oh, it not look like just looking at tree face look almost pained expression. How you know? And they have brother pot of similar age, so learn to read all sorts of signs. Has something happened? Okay, well, Shushu loved to climb trees, climb every tree in area, sometimes twice, but then Shushu stopped paying attention and get discovered by monsters. Luckily, managed to climb up this tree just in time to escape from attack. Then once monsters go away, Shushu breathes sigh of relief so deep, slip of branch, fall down. Now when Shushu get hurt, now cannot even move. And also somehow climb trees now feel scary dangerous. Whoever hear of Nop on that cannot climb trees. That's not even a little bit right, but first we should deal with Hurty Hurty. Heal Hurty Hurty is just trivial part, just need Peppity Herb. I'm atop the Cragmore Caverns, alright. It's weird, we um... Normally, you get those kinds of quests when you're unlocking a skill tree, but we don't have any skill trees to unlock.
Not that I mind it. I'd, in fact, I enjoy more quests that are like, hey, I want to talk to a specific person because they they get me. You know, they they feel me. Story. Aggro down three. Could be good for Melio or Shulk. Or even uh, Kino. God, there's all that to explore as well. Colony Piranax! Oh, I missed them. Who the fuck are you? There's the store. Come here for walks a lot. Oh, okay. Just casually. I kind of want to swim across the lake, but I'll do that in a bit. Can't say no to a little free ether mine, can I? Oh, there's even a knop on here. Oh, sorry, a pond spectre. Grabbing a cheeky mine. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Qualified, certified, rest is classified. Pre Prospector Chief 1-1. One, one. Oh, you're the, the chief. You're the, the main one. Gather all other 11 pond specters. Dodo. Oh look, there's a machina. Hi there. Well, yeah, you're right, random colony resident. I didn't know about the Maconis. Not one bit. The same as any Amu, if you ask me. Different subtle. Sure is. Really? Pardon me. Have you come from Companion's Cape, by any chance? We've just come from the laboratory. But we were at the Cape just before that. And was everyone there all right? Yes, it seemed to me. Thank goodness. That's a relief to hear. Is something wrong? You may be aware, but originally, we all lived here together, as a group. But then, some left because there are machina here. Exactly. At first, we managed to tolerate each other in relative harmony. Obviously, we had our share of friction. What happened? Well, the final straw was something trivial. The companions tried all sorts of ploys to retake the capital, but... None of the plans succeeded. Many soldiers were lost this way. One Machina had had enough, and told them to just give up. And that's when it happened. Yeah. They shouted, If you rust rats hadn't betrayed us, we wouldn't have lost our brethren and our homes in the first place. Things got heated, and then they left and didn't look back. They shouldn't have forgotten that we all lost friends. Family and homes. They're soldiers, ma'am. In the war, they put everything on the line for their country. And so... When their country was taken from them, the extent of their anger and resentment was fully understandable. Yes. Still, we who stayed behind don't bear them any grudges. They protected us all. 
for a long time regardless of race. And bear in mind, in the end, they didn't cast the Machina out. They left the safety of our walls of their own volition. That's why we pledged that if they chose to return, we'd welcome them back and meet them with a smile. I will do whatever is in my power to make it so. Day, day, white eyes, what the inflammation of tear ducts. By the way, we have heard that someone by the name of Ratsum lives here. Ratsum? Yes, he lives over there. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. Over there. Thank you. Very kind. It was Ratsum, actually. He was the one who told the companions to give up their quest. Right. I see. All right. Let's go and see him straight away. Yes, let's. Ransom sounds familiar, but I don't think we met him. Otherwise, they would have probably commented on it. All right, what do you want? Ah, uh, you're a Kino quest, huh? Uh -oh. Hello. Hey, um... Oh, friend is shy too? Huh, I, uh... Must be shy like Kino. You have the same smell as Kino, so it's a matter of facts. Yeah, I kind of get nervous easily, but it's no fun playing on my own. No matter, then what if, what if Kino found friend for friend to play with? Really? I'd love that. Leave everything to Kino. We'll search town for best as possible friend. Make sure everyone happy. Any possibility friendings in mind? There's one pos- oh, no, I saw Celine looking out at the capital once. She looked awful lonely. I saw a boy called Nestator. He's a guy at the lake. I only talked to him once, but he lives near lake, I think. Oh, and there's a super cute nop on Rododo. I saw Rododo, too. Always wanted to talk to her. She seems like she likes ruins and stuff. Well, I know where all of them are. What's up, buddy? Melia? Or do you want Shulk? No, you want Melia. Hey, you there, bird person. Arara, remember you. You guarantor of Hero Pond. Guarantor, I don't know what you mean. No use to dying. Arara, not now find Hero Pond Ricky anyway, so we'll have to extract repayment from designated guarantor. Want to know what that entails? Standard way of repayment is drum roll by provision of dessert. Specifically, Arara is after dessert. Bigger than Arara, sweet, golden, springy, and also tender. You want kilo pumpkins, sweet cherry, and ask that in Grandel to present. Okay, we can do that. I'm gonna guess the last person is gonna wanna talk to Shulk for the quest. Oh, well, while we're here, we should check yes. out the shops. Uh, no gem slots, so they're not, you know, no, no fucking wave, basically. Gems are too important. Oh, we can get a cyclone things or Al Alco. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. You already have chic stuff, so you'd need that. I might go back for this later. But for now, you do not need. Ah, oh, someone up there has a quest, okay. You also do too. Good of you to come by, mind if I could ask for a spot of help. Alright, what do you need? Okay, three pieces of hoverstone. Well, I've already found them. Hey. Ah. 
Oh, the quest is just down there. Okay. Fuck. Are you perchance Radsom? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Teelan mentioned you. You are his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Teelan sent you. Him and Tyre are still getting on okay? Quite. Though she did give him a good scolding earlier. <laughs> Went to Alchemoth again, did he? I did warn him not to be reckless. But when it comes to his research, that boy has tunnel vision. To be honest, so does Tyrea. Does she come here much as well? No, hardly ever. She's even more focused on the work than Teelan. I couldn't begin to guess why she's so driven. It must be about her mother after all. Ratsum, we have questions. About the Fog King. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's ether field, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Ether field? Yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess ether that they absorb. Now. The Fog King and his beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. I see. So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there, to feed on the ether, and as a result, keep the threat contained. All oh, this hot noggin of Kino. It get worse if not shut up. But my ether, it worked against Fog Beasts, but not the Fog King. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Shulk, Melia, would you do me a favor and head to Teelan's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. On another note, we heard that you spoke out against the companions. I voiced an opinion, yes. I can understand their impatience. Their ancestral home was right there. However, I couldn't abide watching them throw away more lives for nothing. Nothing? Sounds quite stark. At first, there were hundreds of us living here. But now? Well, you've seen for yourselves. And all because of the Fog King. Yeah. So I think you can see why I said what I said. If we end up extinct, we'll have won nothing. Well spoken. But I'm sure the companions would find those words hard to swallow. I'm sorry. Your people are no more free to go home than we are. No need for you to apologize, Melia. In truth, it's not costing me any sleep. They seem to be catching on too. After all, They've stayed put since then. When you put it like that... The people of Grandel, they're living under considerable strain, not knowing what became of their homes, and with no means of return. Mm. But that's also true of Maxis. His people lost their homes too. Yes, but they're feeling desperate, and it's making them unreasonable. It too sad. We were like that too once, weren't we? Yes, we were. That true? Hmm, but we learned, eventually. All because we wanted to protect the world. And we made that dream a reality. We brought down Zanza. Overcoming our prejudice gave us strength in unity. Because we shared a goal. Radzum's folk, the companions, and us as well. We all share the same goal.
defeating the Fog King and returning home. Hmm. Sounds like you're breaking up on Kino. Just let Nene at him. Thank you, everyone. Mama Matt, what that thing? Is that... It's like the one we saw in Alchemoth, but much, much larger. You're right. Shulk, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. Cool, we're not going to do the research notes for the ether field. Also, I'm very curious as to why Shulk can't hurt the Fog King. Specifically because they're mentioning that the Fog King give off, gives off a ton of ether. Because isn't ether just like the Bionis food? And is the Monado made to cut up all sorts of things like that? Basically, there's a lot of questions. Uh, and not a lot of answers yet. But I'm sure it'll be answered in time. Or they'll leave it on a cliffhanger to do with the uh, DLC, I bet. Oh, not the DLC, the second game. Or perhaps even third game, I don't know. So I'm going to play my own. I wish there was someone who'd play with me. Oh. Hey, please go become friend of Angela. Should be more fun than with more than alone. You want me to become friends with Angela? You're right. I was getting bored of playing on my own anyway. Tell her I'll come play. I mean, if their town is really so small that there's less than a hundred of them, you'd think the kids would play together. See, Sandra, I came from Companions. I have a question. On your way to Grandel, did you come across any hard looking rock or rare materials? It's all ether deposits. Okay, Cerulean shot around Barrow Ruins Cave to improve our ether pick. We can do that. There's someone here with knew about machines. Oh, I wonder. I wonder who here knows about machines. What is it? Can I help you? I'm sorry to bother you. I saw those mechanical parts. I figured you might be able to use them to fix the junks. Sorry to disappoint, but everything you see here is a little more than scrap. Can you tell me what parts you're looking for specifically? I need wiring to link up the generator and drive system as well as something to reinforce the hull. It's rather complicated. That said, I do have an inkling. Seen high NTA airships before, right? Well, there are a few crashed ones in Alchemoth just lying there. You could strip them for paths. Just so, although I don't know what state they're in, you'll have to go and work that out for yourselves. I would have investigated them myself, but everyone else warned me off saying it's too dangerous, so I relented. Still, from what I remember of my preliminary study, I think there should be three machines left. Nice one, James. Are those things up top? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. How do I get up there? So I'm going to make an early prediction. 
I reckon that uh, purple guy that I thought was evil is gonna end up like killing that Machina dude. Because that Mac Machina dude seems pretty like level headed, right? That's my prediction at least. I was hoping we'd get a quick TP up top, but that's okay. I want to find a way to get this thing. I reckon the purple high end tier guy also might have something to do with the Fog King. Or at least knowing about it. Is one of Poro Poro's favorites. Fuck, do I have to run all the way back up there to get that? Or can I do a sick MLG jump and then go from here? I wonder if Grandel will be in the next game. Or if it'll even be in this world. There's a lot of questions I have for the next game. And I know I won't get them for a while. But. I can dream. Fuck I did all this for a kilo pumpkin. Well while we're here we may as well just go around. Oh that's cute. There's two little fish there. A lunar and a soul one. Switch to Kino. Good morrow. Is Kino in process of look for new friends for Angela? What? Friend think, know who Angela is? Angela, yeah, I know. We only talked once, but I think I've been wanting to hang out with her. Good job, Kino. I think that's a Poro Poro's favorite all the way down there. Yeah, that's the sweet cherry. I'm going to go all the way down here. Because there's a Poro Poro's favorite, and that's the last one we need. A Tranquil Tarn. God, this map is fucking huge. But like, in a good way. Also slightly in a bad way. God, there are residents of Grandel all the way out here. Holy shit. Hello there, friend. I'm not fucking with you right now, Mr. Tostega. Oh, there's also a fucking knock on. Of course there is. Wait, is he our last one? No, we have two more. Is that a penguin? No, 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 no. Modified, certified, grace and tact personified. Alright, what do you want? You want... Search for Tutu's mirror on the small 
eyelid. Oh, we're gonna have to kill that thing. Well, first let me um, let me do a little save here. the wrong Ow All right, you shouldn't have pissed off all of them, but that's fine. Cheer me up, please. Please. Let's do a comment. Fuck it. Ponspectors go and aggro another fucking mob. What's that one doing in the far back? Do you see that cunt? Where are they going? Why are they beating up the rest of them? <laughs> why, are they, why are they aggroing more mobs? The Xenoblade, the final rating. Um, I think I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10, but I'm considering this part of Xenoblade. So, with this, it's elevating it quite a bit. Why did they go all the way there and beat up? You see, one of them's all the way in the distance trying to beat that Flammy that doesn't even have an icon on its fucking head. What the fuck was he doing? I was just chilling, being like, all right, we're, we're getting through this fight. And then suddenly, bam. Slam jam, thank you, man. Oh, we can actually fast travel to that lake. Nice. Can we take on that guy though? Probably not. Oh, okay.
<laughs> That's this is the most annoying thing about this is I was hoping Nene would keep the um the aggro up. And evidently she didn't. Alright, let's get Nino healed. But uh, Nino, sorry, Nene. Let's give Nene some speed. Attack with some major damage. Area attack with days. Let's go for the major damage just because we're okay right now. Oops. Really? This is incredibly difficult to do with my slight input delay. Let's kill him with this. I mean, we're killing some big enemies now, when before I could barely kill an enemy at my level without dying. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I mean, all in all, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, you know? It definitely was worth me going out of my way off stream to buy a bunch of the armor and start equipping just tons of gems. Also, look how pretty the sky is. I love starry sky aesthetics in anything. Even just in normal looking up in the sky. So. Kingdom Hearts ass music. Yeah.
All right, we have one left. Do we know where that one is on the map? No. But we have some quests to end in. There. We have a quest to end in there, I should say. And two things to collect here. I just want to go up here and see if this this bridge looks like it's going to be like a named part on the map. So I want to unlock it. Get some XP and stuff. And also just explore. So I'm going to do that. Also, I find it funny how by just tipping the Bionis over, they've essentially created a world that is, like, twice the surface area. Even though it's the same Bionis, right? Just on the floor. But because it was so vertical, I'm sure it was a lot harder to, like, inhabit. Oh, wow, there's a graveyard. I could probably walk up there and get some stuff, but I can just do some walking later. I want to hand in this quest. Because I went around and collected 20 of these motherfuckers from across the world. doing this buddy Let's put Melia back in the party. Although Kino and Nene definitely tanked that last thing pretty well. They're back to being old reliable, just how we like them. Big old physical tank and a healer, plus Shulk to do damage. Although Nene's taunting could be a bit better. Let's find Poro's fave, show me. His friends found one of Poro's favorite, here's reward. Five, we get a reward for. Ten, we get a reward for. Fifteen, we get quick step. Oh, thank fuck. I didn't know they rewarded me for each one of these I got. So we got some, what, nostalgic ribbon? Which is for you. It's not very good. Like, Sheik Ribbon is just better and gives us a slot, and this is better in Ether Defense as well, by quite a bit. Nostalgic Plate isn't very good. Armlet isn't very good. The Rucksack isn't very good. Wow. You really are uh, fucked us with some of these, didn't you? Wait, quick step and fucking debuff resist, which is huge. You know what? I'll give that to you. You little fucker. Also, we should have some decent AP now, yeah. Keep leveling up that purge, because purge is annoying. Mind blast for you. Sword drive for you. B -b -b boost for you. Shit. Almost fell off. I wonder what speed pond spectres run at normal speed, so they're like far behind. Huh. 
Thank you for the peppity hub. Oh. This is available to us now. It wasn't before. Me too, buddy. And what is color? Plancy, but to eyes of Kino, it also looked twink sparkly. Mimi, that the stuff. And then, and then, what smell it smell of? No, no, no. Just from remember, Kino drew a little bit. Nene also drooling, yet be honest. It almost like. Kino tastes sweet wasabi, just like it here, even though not here. Wah, wah. <sniffs> okay, next. Time to eat imaginated sweet wasabi. But, but, if just eat, atmosphere not quite right. Kino play hero pod. And Nene be trusty psychic. Who gather sweet wasabi as tribute for Hiropon. Nene will give Kino sweet wasabi so Kino can eat and enjoy. Ah, Kino got it. Mimi, noble Kino, behold, is sweet wasabi that Nene picked. Please to eat and be hearty. Mama, this this most delicious experience of eating life. Brave Kino, this unworthy psychic travel all across Bionis. <clears throat> Even had to play tag with Rockfoot one time. Sister Paul, that amazing. Nene overcome many a scuffle scratch to obtain this sweet wasabi. Please to save a mouthfeel. King of Will. King of Eat every last bit, including steps. How is flavor? Here upon Kino. This. Mama. Kino needs a few more bites. <laughs> Alright, 
We go in search of tasty crumbles. Let's go. I'm glad these two inherited their dad's brain. That being said, I didn't hate that cutscene. It does show that, like, she tries to, you know, be a good big sister and stuff. Because we got to remember, she's what, in her teens still? They said knock-ons grow rapidly between age 10 to 15. So she's probably at 15 at best. Knock-on makes kids, they have to spit their brain for the kid. Yeah, no, it's a cute one. I wish we could um, actually like click them and find out more about them, but we don't have the affinity chart, which is what I used to uh, do with. It. So I assume Kino's, you know, younger than. Well, I say assume Kino is younger than Nene. So they're both very much still kids. Right, one, two, just checking for quests. We have to go all the way back there as well. And we also need to find the... I believe the little Nopon person was around here near the ruins. Yeah. Rododo. Oh, Redudo's fearsome dino beast. Please to play or Redudo will eat off face. A question before eating off face. Does Fred know Angela? Because so happen Angela is looking for a new friend. How about go talk to her? Redodo know Angela is Hom Hom girl. Not wrong. Redodo enroll Hom Hom in dino war. Like a horcrux. <laughs> yeah, Ricky has splits into... I think Ricky had 11 kids. So 11 horcruxes. Which means Ricky is uh, canonically stronger than Voldemort. Finally have friends. Everyone says they're going to play with me. I'm so happy. Thank you, Kino. Thank you so much. Get okay, redwood hair tie and redwood vest. Is it going to be any good? That's the question, though. Uh, muscle up, physical defense. So I'm trading ether for physical defense. No, thank you. And muscle up instead of debuff resist. No, thank you. Oh, we unlocked this other color. So we could choose between kind of purplish blue and I like the orange because he's supposed to be like Sharla. The jumbo fruit shot. That's a lot more damage and crit rate, but like you're not here for damage. We have base snug hug blocker with 780 and aggro up. Just checking stuff. All right. Oh wait, actually, did Melia have different outfits? Oh, no, it's the same. I thought we finally got an Emony style too. I was excited. Um, where? Oh, this person will be up top. I almost feel too fast now. <laughs> I love just going up somewhere and seeing all the fucking knop on on specters. Look at them all. They're like having little fucking rodents following me around. I'm the Pied Piper. All right. Not for the Dusty for the Roman. Have you chance to have my catalysts? 
So now we should be getting better gems, I think. Yep. So I know what I'm doing between streams. God, by this point of the game, when I was this level, I pretty much had, what, level 5, almost level 6 gems? And they let me take on stuff much higher level than me. Alright, buddy. Okay, you want Nene. -nay. That's not what I want to do. I'm just so used to playing Shulk that I just lost everything. Is it Nene is monster strong? Yeah, we are. I'm the fucking tree. Thanks, buddy. There he goes, off in the grass. It's like he was never here to begin with. Nene is also afraid of climbing trees, really? Not to get Nene wrong, once Nene loved to climb. And Nene was a little one that I would always watch over when going up trees. Alright. We heard about this, didn't we? As any good father should, Ricky, I tip my hat to you. That upon is great dad upon for surely. Love climbing, then why scared of it? Bark not worse than bite. One time Nene wanted to climb higher tree than ever, daring mission set out all alone. Nene yeah, climbed like no no upon no possessed. View from a pie was the best thing Nene ever saw. When Nene glanced downwards, suddenly realized how far ground was. Once realized, could not unrealize. Area of Tum Tum clenched up like winged fist, and Nene turned stiff as board. Frozen stiff with fright, could only cry and shout for Dadapon. Took whole day for Dadapon to come rescue, and when Dadapon did come, he looked ra all rattery tattery. Dadapon looked for Nene all that time. Oh dear, put. Poor sister Pon. What a horrible ordeal it must have been. Nene not like that memory. It felt bitter like licking Brog. That's why Nene not want any more Nopon to have to fear climb. Aw. But Nene, wouldn't you like to learn to climb trees again someday? After that day, Dadapon was kind and patient to Nene. Took a lot of time to practice climbing together. They were okay with climbing trees in middle lowness now. Was many ropes to learn, but somehow Nene get there. But as soon as ground get too far away, bodies start to tremble and legs turn to fruit jelly. I don't think you have to force yourself. We all have things we're bad at, things we enjoy, things we don't. Just keep going at your own pace. One day you may find yourself ready to try again. That always been guiding principle of Nene. Anyway, even though day of climbing tall tree is a bit of memory, and I always cherish sight of dad upon coming to rescue, like personal hero upon. God, Ricky just turns out to be more and more and more of a better dad. Like, he doesn't stop becoming better. Jubilate armament. 
That's defense. 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 It's all ether defense. You know what? We could put you... Pink armor doesn't look bad, but I kind of like the red. It does look shiny, though, and I do like the shiny. Alright, what other quests we got to do? We need to defeat Thingamajigger. Ah, oh, for no, 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 no. That's the last expedition person. Gather 11 other pond specters. Investigate the airship in Alchemoth. Add Tha ask Thad in Grandel to prepare the dessert. I guess that comes out at night. No? You know where that is, buddy? I was in with Alchemoth level of experience. But I don't know where he is. Oh wait, Pororo is here. Yeah. Skin. Where the fuck is that? about to google this I've got time to be searching every nook and cranny all right what's the quest called sweetest step Dad from 6 to 21. Homes behind Radzem's house. Oh, he's. You have to complete a surefire hit before he can help you in the other quest. Okay. Have I done that quest yet? No. How do I get that quest? Apparently we can't do that for a while. 
Which is annoying because you know how much I love having quests that we can't do for a while. Let's do this one instead for now then. I like the pond specters, but I kind of wish they didn't talk. This one should be done. Can't help but grab some stuff. Can we do some of these yet? Nope. Here's your fertilizer, ma'am, for your farming. Sapling gear, probably not better than what I have, sadly. I want to check out all this side as well while I'm here. Can't climb, thank you. Ah, Shulk and Kino. Shulk, look it up. Plenty of trees growing. Looks like this area isn't very heavily cultivated. That might be why nature runs so rampant. Big step for Nopon. Kino make this into Frontier Village Mark Two. Frontier Village, huh? I was amazed first time I saw it. All the pollen factories, built into that giant tree. Nopon never use metal if can be helped. Except for Sister Pon, who like use Honom shield very much. Oh, right. It's true, though. Ricky never did use a metal weapon. It looked more like a fruit of some kind. Kino here, this is actually gumberry that store Ether was in. Kino just make it suck in ether, and then it shoot out contents like real rifle. Is that right? I'm not sure I've ever seen a berry that big before. Indeedy. Kino never see one lying around before, that for sure. The plants that bear them must be very rare. I knew biters, but I didn't know you had curiosities like these. Well, biter's still more popular. Little pond Kino also wants to use biter. But no beef on wings, so could not carry properly. But then, when Kino gets in big sulk, Dadapon go and pick Gumbery from somewhere. Ricky did. So he can be a model father. I'm impressed. Yes, yes, Dadapon is true hero born. This weapon only used now by Nopon 2 Wimpy to hold Vita. But Dadapon was first one to discover. Everyone jumped for happy when introduced. Ricky is a man of many talents, huh? A true hero pawn indeed. Dad upon say, he gets idea for making into weapon from Hom Bomb Gun. Inspired by a Hom's gun. Ah, Charlotte's ether rifle then. Though if he was going to make weapons, I would have been happy to help him out. 
How about it you shall give Kino pointers? Kino still not always hit target. Pointers, eh? From what I saw, though, it seemed like you knew your stuff. Kino also thinks so, but still sometimes miss. Right. Then maybe you'd best learn how to properly handle the weapon. Properly how? Hmm. Am I right to assume you've never really had proper training? Am I? How short knowing of that? Kino, state of shock. I reckon the weapon's more beat up than it should be. You don't want that. More prone to malfunctions. What Kino should do? It's important to be as careful as possible. Handle it too roughly, and you could end up warping the grip. If the aim is a little off, it could potentially be because of that. Oh, Shulk, no such things. Kino never figure out in a million years. I've always liked tinkering with weapons. Even made my friend Ryan's weapon, in fact. That'll be why. If you need a weapon maintained, I'm your guy. Shulk really second most awesome after Dad upon. Tell Kino more, more, more. All right. But for now, let's reinforce this to help with your aim. In return, could you perhaps share some more stories? Kino liked that deal. God, Ricky, like, literally is just getting all the fucking attention from all of these. Holy shit. Not that I mind it, it's, it's great. It's just like, fuck, why don't we have something like that? I mean, Ricky did, needed it, right? I love Ricky, but he literally did like three important things throughout the entire game. And two of them wasn't like him. Oh, he slayed the Telethia. By slayed, he, you know, was there. And he got knocked back and didn't see what happened, but they still gave him the credit for being the Telethia. He had the, um... He heard Melia's brother. Which, again, he didn't mean to do that, it just happened. And then, finally for Ricky, he, uh... What did he, he... The good thing he did was take care of Dunban and Melia. Can I go to Alchemoth without triggering the uh, story quests? I'm pretty sure it was a dead fish shop. Yeah, Ricky's weapon, what's a dead fish? And Ricky did have other biters made of like... Put me, I assume, rock or metal or something. Must be one of the airships Hemline told me about. I hope we can find parts. We should probably do it. See what we can get elsewhere. Is there any down here? Nope, we're gonna go up. I haven't actually... I stopped myself from exploring Alchemoth uh, off stream. I got the, uh, the other waypoint, the Phantom of Hope. Because I was like, oh, I got the other one. Uh, but I try to not spend much time here, just in case something happens. Look at that fog beast up there. Kyle Lexos. God, poor Alchemoth. Oh, I'm actually... I just realized the bridges are destroyed there, aren't they? Yeah, they're like, broken. I 
I did not notice that the first time. I kind of want to explore more of it. Hmm, nothing over here. Emilia, how about over there? Nothing here either, it would seem. What about you, Nene? Meme Negatori. How looking where Kino is. Anyway, Kino found it just like Kino expects from Kino. Talk about tuning his own horn. Wah! What is it? Is there something behind us? Kino spit out problem. Big huge dino beast! We fight in a fucking Telethia. Oh wait! Is this... Is this the one that like... Melia's and... No, Tyrea's mother turned into? That one seems different from most Telethia. Did it come to just watch? There may be something to watch you say. Hmm. This is the last. No, we killed Tyre's mom's one. This is the last of the airships that Hemily. Helman. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Helminin spoke of. Should be, yeah. We need more parts of these, but I don't think we'll be able to scavenge anymore this way. It says, like, go back time to Kino. Melia, something wrong. Ah, no, it's nothing. We should hurry back to Helmaline. No, we should find out more about that Telethia. Speaking of finding out more, I'm going to, um... I'm going to see if I can explore Alkamoth a bit. God, thank fuck for Quickstep. I mean, seriously, look at this. Look at the difference. I wonder why it has, like, the fog eye. Like, what does that symbol mean besides that it's a fog beast? Maybe it gets enhanced vision or something? Oh yeah, none of the teleporters would be working, huh? Maybe? There's the mural with the Vionis and the Mekonis. They said the world of the Monado will bring the end of the Hyantia. Which was technically true. Doesn't seem to be operational. Damn it. It was worth a shot. How did she go to bed? Let's uh, change back time. What is it? Welcome back. It's good to see you're still in one piece. You what? You got it, Celestia. You're so lucky to be live. So you just flew up with our incident. Phew, you had me worried there. I'm um, anyway. What about the parts? No worries, Helmeline. We get Rudra equipment, which... Agility up 2 versus Agility up 3, no thank you. But, it will be the, um... The rest of the Monado style 2 stuff, right? Yeah. I can wear black pants and... Black shoes. If I wanted to, I could have a black wristband instead of a slightly navy one. 
but I actually kind of like the gloves. Let's take a look at the quests. Nornor is calling. You should be able to do this, probably. Where is it? It's in the... The fucking quarry, alright. I would probably need a Kino Nene party for this. Stick. Actually, let's um. No, you know what? We're doing it with these guys. Fuck it. Oh, he has a paralysis. Shit, Nene. Good aggro grab. Slow is not good for me. Luckily, this guy can't do much. Oh my god! He hit me with the virgin bite seven! He called me a virgin! You ever get called a virgin by a fucking spider? I got you, Nene. If Shulk knows to do anything, it's uh, to cheer up Rhyme. So we should get better gems from this now, right? Confuse resist four. Confuse resist four. Will it be another one? Oh, talent boost four. Ooh. Talent boost. I think talent boost is just good for Melia. Well, attack damage half, but talent fills talent gauge by seven. It is good, but perhaps not that good. Oh, is this like a... Oh, it's a dead Chroma. Is Xenoblade worth it, Grandmaster1250? I think if you like JRPGs with a lot of content, Xenoblade is 110% worth it. I'm currently playing the After Story, so this isn't even the main game. Um, and this is already amazing. I've already played the main game, I just finished it recently. And... I mean, my standards are very high, and I rate it an 8 out of 10. I don't have many games that I'd ever rate a 10 out of 10 at all. 
And an 8 out of 10 is just really good in my mind, especially for the first one. Like, Huh. Are those ether crystals? Yeah, they're up there. I need to go there for the quest, but you can't go there from... Oh no, you can go there from there. So first I want to fight Deputy Seagull. I mean, I also bought Xenoblade, I think it was on sale at the eShop, so I also got it like 30% off at the time. And it was just, you know, I bought this for essentially, what, $40 US? Um, do we want to daze him? No, we want to red comet him. Fuck it. Oh my god, look how much damage that was. Good shit, team. Oh my god, these two are too cute. I don't like Kino as much as I like Nene, but I still like Kino. It's not to say I don't like Kino at all. Jesus, two or Lugo over there. Couple of Chromars and shit. Oh boy, Arachno Queen came up as well. Fuck me, this place is kind of terrifying. What? I'm gonna get rid of these guys just for now so they don't get in my way. Yeah, come here, buddy. Don't tell the other people about us. Stupid little Jawa cunt. Bam. Honestly, that's fine. I wanted to fight you before the Aluga anyway. But I fucked up my positionals. Alright, Amos, I'm gonna need you to get the fuck out of the way, buddy. Everyone, 
I really like how, like, we still have Mamado Buster, which deals more damage against Mechon, but I've not seen a single fucking Mechon. It makes me wonder, did Mechon just go extinct? Art Seal Resist, that's good. Topple up, that's that's decent for if we're running a topple build. Art Seal Resist again, okay. Haste! Ooh. Ooh, haste! Is it worth weapon power? I think it is. So, like, what we currently have increases the chance for our gems to activate by 12% or something. Yeah, but if I have haste and I'm just attacking, you know, 34% faster, then that's better in my opinion. Because I'm almost doubling my attacks, which means doubling my chance of gems to activate. Huh. A level 77, huh? We're doing this now, are we? having a little dance there. I know, I'm loving this DLC too, enough to make me dance. Hey, hey, get away from my fucking healer. No, don't call minions. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. That's very warm there, Greg. Thank you. If we manage to topple this bad boy, it might work out pretty well for us, actually. Alright, let's see what we got. Come here, Ravager. Holy shit. Did I get a res? Thank you. Not again, bro. Are you kidding me? Please, nay nay, keep aggro. Fuck's sake. I need someone to encourage me. Please, encourage me. Kidding me? There we go, he's finally locked on properly. God damn it. Even with speed, I got un... Ugh. That match was horrible for us. Knowing part is having to go at it again. Maybe I'll kill these two again and then just kill the thingamajig. 
And I'll come back to fight him another time or perhaps off stream. Alright, Goldie Chroma. Fun fact about these fox, the Goldie ones. I had to um, farm the shit out of them to get some of the like final weapons for some of the characters. Like getting Dunban's Wyvern Slayer and shit. So I healed myself instead of her. Alright. Let's see what we're doing. We're dying. That's what we're doing. And he inflicts instant death on people who topples. Okay. That's a fucking rough one. Don't say casual mode, dude. Oh, if there's one thing I fucking hate, it's game being like, mm, do you want to go into casual mode because you decided to try something that's difficult on purpose so you wouldn't have a breeze with the game? Just like in the first game, like, no, it's okay. I chose not to fight him. He ended up fighting us after I got the license. That's fine. Ugh. It's so frustrating. I think that was the most frustrating thing about the first game as well. Is it constantly being like, mm, do you want to go to casual mode? You lost a fight that you're clearly, you know, five levels under leveled for. Do you want to go casual mode? Oh, well, with this, we'll get all the Pond Spectres, because this will be 11, and then we'll grab 12. You speak to Nanona? My mortal. All right, Nanona's ours. And he's telling us where 1-1 one -one is. But guess what, buddy? We already found one one. We've gotten all the prospectors now. Prospectors is all in one place. It's rich feeling of fulfillment. Truth is, one one's still not actually ready yet. See one one out. Traveling along a clear sky above, one one set up on the end of cut purse Igna. Oh, all right. Get the memo back from the cup purse, Igna. All the way there, that shouldn't be an issue. I think while we're here, we can fight a, uh, a unique enemy if we can find him.
think I remember when I was exploring around, just gathering items, one being around here. Also, let's see how my Collectopedia is doing. Oh nice, we got this Shimmer Tumble. I like sandals. Are the sandals any good? Nope, they're just aesthetic and they're familiar. Which means they're probably her resort shoes. Yep. I mean, they look nice. Just not what I'd wear to battle. I thought there was a unique in it. Oh wait, is that him? Yeah, Air Marshal Reisenbach. I feel like I need to give Nene a bit more strength to just be able to keep the aggro. Go on. Get him, Nene. Alright, I'm gonna do a shield just in case. I don't want him to do a move and then fuck us. Oh, never mind. We got our fun specters. Far for this, but that's fine. I think there's also, yeah, there was one up there. Marquis, Marcus Odesh. We can probably fight him. Yeah, don't you tell your friends about us. Not yet, at least. Be all of you, huh? Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. definitely can't fight like all of those at once. But perhaps we can do a little bit of bait and switching. Some master baiting as it were. Go on, tell them about me. There we go. If we find their leash point, we should be alright. 
Tak ne bi vi. Alright, we got all of them besides the big boss. That's good for us. Alright, let's get rid of all of them in one fell swoop, huh? Now that we got rid of a bulk of those things, uh, fighting just these two should be a lot easier, huh? Oh, it's just him. Yeah, this guy's nothing without his fucking horde. Extra chance, another one. Alright, good shit. We will be able to do this after all. Look at that. Sometimes all you need is a bit of, uh, they're thinking outside the box. Sometimes all you need is uh, also just luck. Alright, can we level up some stuff? Yeah, we can. Let's get Purge done. And I'm going to level up Eda since I keep using it. Since that's pretty big for me. You need to level up Drive Boost pretty badly. And you need some fucking damage, young lady. Memo is back safely in hands. Best news now finally can set sights on true goal. Much thank you to Express. Friends not only leave Pond Spectres back here, but also bring back Lost Memo. Its reward will let Pond's in secret. True purpose on Pond Spectre mission. What's the true purpose of all this? 
Strength up four, nice. Now to reveal objective upon spectres. Drumroll please. Ready? Objective is to obtain thing which mentioned in memo. What is thing and also on 10 to pretty sure we already upon spectre everywhere. What is treasure? So I don't forget to announce. Treasure is ready for it. It's foodstuff of ancient fungus urus. In modern lingo translate to golden shroom. We're doing all this for a mushroom. I'm not reading all this. So he was trying to find a shroom. Then listen up. Alright. Gone shrooms, they sleep in the ruins of the deepest end of Nerthus Necropolis. Cause Tete not find entrance to ruins hidden in ingenious contraption in Necropolis. Very advanced. One work to retrieve memo, one must solve mystery riddle, and now ruins are accessible as a leisure pool. Okay. I wish I cared more about these fucking knob one, but I don't. Friends, please escort to 1 1 and rest upon Spectre until we recover prize from Nilkus Necropolis. Okay. That's fine by me, buddy. I feel like this DLC is literally half about the Pond Spectres, whereas you could probably just focus on the main story and avoid all of this. Let's go to the Necropolis. I should be a much higher level than I was when I originally came here. Yeah, these pods aren't um, scary at all to me. Oh, that's a, a unique monster. Let's see what he's got. Easy victory for us, I guess. Since there's no achievements for like this version of the game compared to the the main game, I don't know if there's like a reason for me to hunt everything outside of just you know enjoying Xenoblade. Oh shit! The treasure chest. Never mind, we can't see it. Double attack four. Nice shit. Yes, please. We also got a strength up four, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I'll give you some strength up because you need to get some more aggro, lady. Young woman. I'm going to do this and then give you some strength up. Might be worth, instead of giving you agility down, giving you strength up. Or haste 4 as well, honestly. Fuck it. Haste 4 and then give you agility down so you hit more. Although, is haste gonna even matter? No, haste doesn't matter because you just spam arts. It's better to just give you strength or another aggro up, honestly.
Uh, I don't really want to like walk gently past all these things. But I guess I will just to save a bit of time. Actually, fuck it, we run. Yeah, everything was okay. Can I examine that first? No? Okay. Let me guess. Is that a windmill? Look at this treasure chest. Might all, almost equal and beautiful to delicate features in face of Tutu. One one go and open. Can't open it yet? Please hold on another moment. Oh my god, where is monsters supposed to be guarding secret treasure? Please don't tell me that's gonna be a level 99 fucking dragon again. He's standing like a T Rex though. I don't think we're going to win this fight. I'm going to be real. Yeah, uh, funnily enough, I'm not going to be beating that just yet. Although I'm pretty happy with how much we've explored of most of this, we're still missing somewhere on this map somehow. Which, if I had to guess, would probably be something here or up by the wheats. Maybe I'll check up by the wheats. See if we can't complete the map. See a nice view of Alchemoth from here. Heat sink four. Oh, that's that's actually really good. So heat sink will stop Nene from over fucking using the rifle. Just checking if there's anything else that's good for him. I mean, less ether defense, but more slots, which, in my opinion, is good. Um, I could give you haste. I could also just give you anything for now. Enjoy that, buddy. All right, let's go back to um to Solnar Steel Island and see what that uh. That big thing in the sky is about. What is happening over there? So he could turn things into fog beasts? Here they come! No time for deliberations. Let's go, Shulk. Got it! 
fucking love this music though. Shulk. The fog beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. The co oh, oh no. Grendel. Ah. What is matter? The Armus could turn into fog beasts. Meh, meh. No one to picture that. Must hurry to rescue. Just before I go there, I want to take a little trip here. Do not mind me. Oh. Got some art manuals to buy now that I have eight coins. Hammer beat, definitely. Uh, feather swings, a favorite one of mine. Shulk, uh, you're fine for now. Do your dots and heal, heal, and headshot. Although I guess I shouldn't be really using headshot anymore, since I the reason I used it before was because I had it in chain attacks, but we don't have chain attacks anymore. Hello, Grandel. We're here to save you. Your instinct was right, Melia. Yes, although the Rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Ratson, are you fine? Miss Melia, these armors, it was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right you are. Shulk just waved at them and they were like, yeah, I want to fuck up Shulk. I bet the purple bitch has something to do with this. Thank you for that. Was everyone all right? Yeah. No major injuries to speak of. All thanks to you, of course. Kino accepts a year's supply of sweet wasabi as reward. Real hereupon never has compensation. Where it say that? 
<laughs> Shook. Was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our Amu's transformation? Looks like it. We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the Rift continues to spread its vileness. Consider, with the size it was before, the Rift's effect was limited to the area within the capital. But now it's getting wider. One moment. In that case, if the Rift keeps growing larger... All monsters everywhere could be changed by the fog. We must find a way to fight back. We'll need those research notes for that. Let's head for the lab. Right. Oh, now we've got some quests. Hello. This is the worst. Maybe Grandel just doesn't have any. What do you need, buddy? You need a special type of flower. Search lamenta Lamentation Bridge for three Dawn Smiles. Okay. Your granddad is a Machina, doesn't that mean you're a... Uh... No, I'm just a regular Hans. I guess my granddad isn't my actual granddad. Help me when we got separated. You know how to fix machines. Could you fix my granddad, huh? Repairing a marketer, huh? Maybe the first aid kit from Junks would help. I think that's great. Please do your best. I'll love you forever. Days resist. Come on. Days plus. Oh, I was hoping for a bit better things than that. We also got a quest there. Do we have any quests here? Nope. Can we do this yet? We can! Melia and Kino at night. Oh, such very depressed. What is it, Kino? Has something happened? Ah, uh, Miss Manny! Why the sighing? It's unlike the bright, bubbly Kino I know. What? Kino not allowed to be moody? It's sensitive, especially at age of now. I see. Then I hope you'll forgive me. So something worrying you? Anything you care to discuss with me? Doubt if can help. But maybe Miss Mally have some advice. Oh, very well. In that case, I'm all ears. Kino, follow Miss Belly and Shaw calls Skulky Light to come with. Hmm, yes, quite. But at start, Kino never think Kino come to such very far away place. That boy, when Kino leave, Kino not say bye bye to Mama Pon. If Kino come back now, there's sure to be heck to pay. Mama Pon angry, wants to look like Chewy Toy. Just thought of remember makes move Goku plunge. Hmm. Did Oka really have such force of character? <laughs> but don't fret. It's only because she worries about you. That intensity is nothing but a sign that you are loved dearly, Kino. Miss Molly Shaw? Yes. I'd say she only scolds you because she cares. Mama Pon get angry because love Kino not really understand look at it this way Kino you are her beloved son if you were hurt Oka would be sad would she not therefore when she scolds you it's to try and ensure that you don't put yourself in harm's way so do not think it cruelty oh <gasps> Kino no everything resolved if you miss Melly just ask Mama Pond to tone down harsh when angry at Kino if you do that, even Mama Pond may become a bit gentle in upon. No, that I cannot do. Mama, why no? You really need me to explain. Isn't it the mark of a hero pond to take responsibility for their own actions? At least I believe Ricky did. 
to an extent. If you wanted to come with us, you should have asked Ricky and Oka's permission to begin with. Don't you think that's what a hero pond ought to do? You'll find as you go through life, similar situations may reoccur. If they do, and if you act the way you did this time, nobody will acknowledge you as a true hero upon. Kino, once you realize you have done wrong, you must reflect on it and rectify it as soon as you can. If you let the chance slip you by, you may not get another. Kino got it, Miss Melly. For now, Kino promised to never follow friends or sneaky skulky again. We'll follow friends proudly. Oh, <laughs> it seems I didn't explain properly after all. What you did wrong was to cause Oka undue concern. So you'll have to accept your punishment, put time into self-reflection, and next time, simply do better. That is the behavior that will let you grow on your path as a mighty hero. Understood. Kino promise. Hmm. I wonder if he really understood. I love these quiet moments so much. Holy shit. Huh? Well, that's odd. The kid is missing. I could have swore I swore one right here. Do you think someone took it? That could be one explanation. I hope this turns out to be nothing. Oh, shock, look, there's something lying over there. There is some kind of note. Inventory of military goods is signed by the person in charge. Solthus, I think. Maybe? Well, the inventory, he's meant to be working under a... to working recover material from a number of caches on the bias holder. Maybe he was the one that took the kit. Might be a Nerth Necropolis. It's the only one on the list of caches without a tick to it. I'm so happy they're voiced, yeah. It really does... Like, don't get me wrong. I think the dialogue for Xenoblade is completely fine. But there are some emotions and some, like... If I was voicing everything that Nene or Kinu say, there's not that childlike innocence in my voice that makes me enjoy their characters that much more, right? It's just me talking like this. Hi, my name's Chicka Chow. You know, I like golf, you know? Greetings. Mithril. Oh, there, are you not fellows who were aboard the vessel? Since that blast thing came down, the fish just haven't been biting. I suspect it's upset the monsters too. They're getting very textured lately. How do you sit back and wait for the fish to come to us, can we? Poor Hamlin is practically wasting away thanks to the five minutes. At least in Grandel, we had the luxury of having a lake nearby. What I'm trying to say is that your arrival has made our lives miserable and I'd like you to take some responsibility. Okay, kill some paggles. Alright, you're a bit fucking asky, aren't you? Why is I was gonna say, why is Melia just standing in the water? the last one. There he is. 
Oops. I accidentally killed something else too. Thanks, Pond Spectres. What would I do without you? I would have a slightly more difficult time going through this game. Alright, I killed your fucking crabs. Greetings. So I'm just checking around quests because I realized I didn't actually check for quests while it was nighttime, only during the day. And you know how this game can be sometimes. Um, how do I get up there? I'd have to go all the way from here. All right. No, this is the wrong one. I have to go here and then up. Because this is... The map doesn't show it, but this is basically in three levels. You've got the bottom most like marshy level, you have the middle level, which I'm currently on, and then you have the top level. So that quick teleport is actually to the bottom level rather than the middle level that I need to start from to go to the top level. Also, go check the Collectopedia, see how I'm doing on that. Still missing two things, don't know how, don't know why. It's okay. Unlike the uh, the main game, as I said, I'm probably not going to focus on 100%ing this. I'm just trying to enjoy it as it comes. Because, honestly, when I don't know the next time I'm going to have a game like this in my life. One where I can just kind of walk and enjoy. It sounds dumb, but like, this game is just really good. I don't know if the second game is going to be like this one or go in its own direction. I know the third one's going to be very different because I think the um the third one at least had their own uh what is it DLC characters. And I don't know how that affects the game as a whole, but Oh, okay. Right, who was this was for one of the daytime quests, right? Yo bro, I already kicked your ass, I'm not doing it again. Hello. 
Those are the Dylan smiles, buddy. Alright, who is that for? It's for Fiora. Uh, not Fiora, Belia. I'm sure Melia doesn't mind being called Fiora, right? Right? What's up, better? Yes. Butter? What? Buddy, Saltus. First aid kit. On your boat. I have a request. Would you let me, just let me have the kit? Yeah, like, sorry for your soldiers, dude, but you literally stole my property and I'm asking for it back to help someone, and you're like, Oh, you'd rather help a machina than my fallen compatriots who had died to the Fog King. Oh, I'm racist. Replica stuff has HP up. Wonder what type. Monado style 3. Oh, Very shiny blue. Oh my god, that is <laughs> kind of gaudy, not gonna lie. I want it to look like a frog, I guess. Defeat the monster. Recommended level 78. Still not... Done with that one. Not for a bit. Alright, let's go get those research notes. Villain! What do you want? You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you, and I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Get fucked on. Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy! Yeah, kill him, Melia. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history! So be it! 
I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. Oh, I've been waiting to kick your ass. I didn't think I'd be doing it this soon. Get fucked, Galga. I know I am not wrong. I'm not. I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. No, you should have killed him. Oh, shit. She's okay. She's all right. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. The future. house. The lab went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab? <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Malia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us. Come on, big sis. That's enough. Don't defend her. This idiot child. I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia. And yet, ultimately it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor oh, Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also, 
Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome. We found it in the tomb. Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yeah, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan. Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on, we'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? Can I use triple snooze for sea sweet dreams that seem extremely This might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief. Miss Melly, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you, big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just... don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her... She figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle, so really, any help is welcome. You're right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found ether attacks effective against fog beasts, but not against the Fog King. That's because the ether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, dum dum. But Kino's so bored. The whole thing got me wondering. Why did fog beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Teletheus ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Teletheus, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high-purity ether crystals, except... Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around. Hey! I wonder if we'll get like a Monado 4. A super ether concentrated one. 
Can we tell these guys that that dude fucking backstabbed us and get him like exiled or? Hey, okay. Ardred. Hey, please listen. Miss Winnie's feeling sad. Know exactly why. She lost her wedding ring. Okay. Do you want me to fucking look for her wedding ring? Find someone who can find you a ring. Okay. Or who can make you a ring. Whatever it was said. Pools. That's a ring, I imagine, but I have to make a ring. But no worries. Can it really be true that Oath Ardred wants to give it to Lady Winnie? You're not a big fan of his hot headedness, mind telling me the whole story. Alright, I need to gather something brigandite or some shit he said. What's up, buddy? Half parts and snare wear. Alright. I think I already have them. Welcome. Snare wire, not snare wear. Whoops. Catafish DX. I don't know what the fuck that's for, but oh my god, seeing all the like the knob on in a line is just fucking hilarious. Uh -oh. Like to talk to Kino if that's okay. Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. Kino, you helped me make so many friends. I want to help with something to make us get closer, like a magic set of items we all could have wear. Okay, friendship placements. So we need some elastic ivy. What's up? Hi, ether crystal. First I've heard of it. And then I think about it, I might actually have a rough idea where to find one. Fellow squadron, he's on the rampart, bear to know more. Okay. Oh, this, this door was fucking creaking open and closed and open and closed. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Hello, sir. Ether Crystal, please. Let's keep it brief. I am Ether Crystal. Entirely sure location. This is supposed to be a very rare ether crystal. To, was it? Someone named Sarge, I told you. And Sarge is all the way down near Hero's Rest. That's right. While we're here, let's quickly grab this. Which was for the ring? Yeah, the Brigitte. We're also here, so let's get these. These are actually down this way. Elastic Ivy for the um, friendship place bracelets bracelets All right, you know you're up buddy go make some new friends Oh, you need sparkle stones as well. Never mind, Kino. I 
Oh wait, that's Miles and his granddad. Mm. That's nice. I like when they do little continuity things like that. Are you that? Get the brigade tied. Uh, as well, time for us to forge a ring. Why? Why did I just? My brain stopped functioning. My brain was like, nah, I don't want to right now. And sometimes you just gotta be like, okay, brain. Whatever you say, buddy. Hey, okay. Oh, the ring is ready. What a superb make it is. Quarles made this. To tell you the truth, I'm no fan of that fox nerd scrapper, but this isn't about me, it's about winning. Why is he always shouting? Man's always angry. Reminds me of another person who's always angry. Me. I'm angry. Especially when I play uh, Overwatch lately. They announced a bunch of stuff for Overwatch today at the like Xbox showcase. But I feel like people don't realize how we waited three years of like barely updated Overwatch for three PvE missions. But people were like, oh, PvE is finally coming out. Didn't everyone say PvE is cancelled? No, people said P them cancelling the skill trees, which was the main reason for PvE, was upsetting. And now they're releasing three whole story missions. Wow. After three years... To me, it's very upsetting. But hey, that's going to be the internet, right? No matter what happens, people are only going to see the side that they want to see of any sort of thing. Yes, oh, the god of the ramparts told you, did he? You and my late friend were on good terms. Naturally, I had to regulate, regale the man with the tales of my friend's escapades. I believe the one... That may be of particular interest to you is the time my friend, a Hyantia man, discovered a crystal. He was a real go-getter. The man always tri tripes tra tripesing? Tripesing around, exploring from the day he set foot on the shoulder. To hear all sorts of stories from his adventures to entertain little old me. Okay, please, hurry it up. Cause translucent, pale glow. Where the fuck is it, though? Stalactite from a cavern. So that's how things are. It seems we owe Miss Sarja and her friend a debt of gratitude. It's just my conjecture, but the crystal may have been highly responsive to heat and subliminated when exposed to sunlight. It'll be found in a cave. It's the soldier city already searched northeast necropolis. Fine lane, forbidden hush land. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Caves around the Forbidden Hushland, which is, yep, the Zerk Marga Quarry. While we're here, we can get some rocks as well from the V Highlands. I don't particularly like care about any of these enemies. But this one I do. Perceptive Quinops. I know of a Quin that's perceptive. 
Are you actually following me? Turns out, I should have cared about all these people. Fuck. Thank you for the Healy bullet. <laughs> Thank you, Kida. Oh, he did his best. Turns out I can't just run through this. Although... If I'm correct, I should be able to just literally walk this way and achieve the same results just without aggroing the entire horde. Like, what's this guy gonna do? Nothing. Because he's an ugly frog. Oh, does he have a fucking hood on top of him? That's funny. get like a new Monado art if we do have to like upgrade our Monado. Maybe we get like a Monado enchant again but like our enchant is like a high density ether enchant. Thank you Melia. a bit rough but it ended up working out. Oh we missed one. Friendship bracelet time. You know, you're back. Did you find sparkle stones? Yeah, we did. Tears all gathered. Can you do all west weed and thread? Put in the stones. Can they help out also? Friendship bracelets. A harmonious name, is it not? Very caring of you, Kino. Racist, you made us so pretty, Kino, you know, thanks. Of how the stones are shiny, so fancy. Very skillful, Kino and Nene. Can I take a closer look? Sure, look, it's pretty, huh? There's proof of friendship. Friendship? Friendship. Please be careful not to break. Hey, Angela, did you notice? It seems like you've really come out of your shell. Michelle, oh, you're right, I have. I guess it must have been come over my shyness in the process, and it's thanks to you, Kino. Kino feel also much less scared than before. Friends are an amazing resource. Kino, my hero pun. I 
love my hero upon academia. Can't forget this. Could have been good, but it wasn't. Alright, that's all the quests that we can do for now, I think. Let me double check. Yep. Can we access this now? Yeah, we can. Nene and Shulk. Uh, why Mr. Shulk stopped so sudden? I was just thinking about the cave near Colony 9. Do you know it, Nene? It's called Tefra Cave. Nene, no place. Nene tag along once with group of Hom Hom. Went to fetch ether cylinders. I've done that too sometimes. Went with Ryan a couple of times. Mama, hooray for twinsies. Nene went there during rebuilding effort. So you did your part to help Nene. Thanks for that. It not thing that need thanks per se. Just doing civic duty. Must stay friends and work together. With all peoples that live in world. <laughs> That's right. But folk here have lot of angry kerskuffles. Fight between neighbors bad. Should watch Nene and Kino. Learn to everyone play nice. Well, I wouldn't say the people here are enemies exactly. They just don't know how to work out their feelings. That just fancy way of saying fighting? It's not exactly like fighting. Both sides do understand each other, but their paths took them in different directions. What Mr. Shock mean? If the two sides had simply hated each other, they wouldn't just leave. They tried to drive the other side out by force. But that's not what they did. They still have common ground to stand on. And Melly is here now. They just need some time to mull things over. Mr. Shulk is a very kind person. Very different from Mama Pon. When Nene and Kino get into bad fight, Mama Pon spank first, then ask questions. Nene and Kino always in tears, but always say sorry and make up with hug hug. End of end, friendship become much stronger. Being friends mean a whole lot more fun, and more fun is more good. Also, everyone in Colony 9 was friends from start of start. Well, that's because everyone there was working to help rebuild. We all share the same dream. But dreams of people here all really all that different from each other. For now, I guess. But Melly is doing the best she can, and we need to as well. Nene understand. Nene will wait until Miss Melly and make dreams of everyone mush together as one. But if dream of Miss Melly not go through to everyone, in that case, Nene will. Nene will. Nene will give vicious spankings, and no one spared, even not Mr. Shulk. What? Me as well? <laughs> Just promise to be gentle. Nice one. We already beat you, so we don't need to beat you a second time unless we want XP. Oh, is it just up there? Should have just went to here. Behind Big Smelly or Luga. Come on, luck be a lady. Luck be a lady.
No, we didn't get any. <laughs> Good gems. I mean, agility down might not be bad, depending on what agility down Nene has. You already have four. No, I'll do that later. I was thinking of doing something, but I thought I'll do it off stream. So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Mm. Grab them, sir! Our beasts have broken through the gates! They're through! If only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Teelan, you stay put. Gotcha. I hope Tyre is okay. Do we fast travel? Yeah, we can. Alright, can't do that yet. I feel like we have death flag for either the Makina in the town, uh, Rad Radzan, or Tyre's death flag coming up soon. And that's going to be sad if it is Tyre. I know that Tyre and Melia have finally fucking become sisters, basically. Oh, that one has like a foggy eye. Oh, that's a mammoth. Level 71, ouch. We beat them this time, but the numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go! Down with Fog King! The situation is tough. I agree. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. They must see the danger. They will understand what needs to be done. Yea. As soldiers of the High Entia, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. Huh. 
I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please. Trust me, Ratson. I'll be right here. Trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go, before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Movement! Multiple biggins confirmed! Impossible! More already! <sighs> if the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me! You head straight for the cape. What are you saying? This will take all of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. But that's... You said it yourself. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea. Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. Come on, we make for the Companion's Cape. We also could have just like let Shulk solo it or something. That would have been pretty cool. But for now, I think we're going to uh, end things here. So I will... I will save my game. I'll go talk to the companions later. I'll make sure not to actually travel there just in case of a cutscene. But I might go around and do some... Oh my god, we got a quest. Fuck me. Okay. We're going to pick up this quest first. Just real quick. So I can do it off stream. Welcome. Melakenzi. Homsaya Tianopon. See so Makina arriving on the biodiversity, study local stuff. Take photos of... Okay. Daytime snap will be best to live up the snow from purifying... Okay. Well, we could do that another time. So now, uh, my name is Shrika Chow, better known on the internet as Shrika Chow. I hope you're all enjoying because I definitely am. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.